Excellent. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Rexer Show. Normally, if you watch my channel, you know I do arcade uh, gaming, retro pie, raspberry pie, that type of stuff, but I also build arcades. And today I'm going to show you a tip on what to do instead of painting your arcade on the outside. Okay, maybe you're a hobbyist, you started your arcade build, right? You're knee deep into this and you're wondering why you just didn't get an arcade one up. Now you're going to paint it. Maybe you paint it and you're sanding it and you're repainting it and you're priming it and it, you're sanding it again. And it's too much. I'm going to show you a simple technique uh, and, a, and two alternatives actually to painting your arcade cabinet on the outside. Okay, so the first alternative is simply a vinyl wrap. Uh, once you've sanded down and you filled in the holes, because I drill in my screws from the outside, you puttied them up and you sanded it really down nicely, you can just put your arcade vinyl wrap over it, right? Maybe you got the graphics already, but maybe you just want it black. Well, there's a nice car uh, vinyl wrap that comes in however large of size you want it and you buy it and it comes rolled up. You can just place it over it and then you can exacto the knife out uh and 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 cut it out real nice and get a nice clean finish the problem with the vinyl wrap is that it's very hard to get it perfect you'll get some bubbles underneath you can't let any debris get underneath you have to make sure the surface is completely smooth and even if when you putty in holes you can kind of see the difference of the puttied holes versus the normal cabinet so i don't necessarily recommend this for the outside but for the inside of your cabinet 100 percent i would say use this uh, instead of maybe laminating the inside and why because laminate cracks and it's hard to drill through so when you put the laminate on the inside and you're going to drill through it uh it, it'll crack and split and and look all messy this vinyl wrap will not you just put it on the inside here's a picture of, of the inside of a cabinet and you can just drill right through and it looks really nice you can't even tell the difference really looking uh from a, from a short distance away whether it's laminate or uh vinyl wrap Okay, but the second option is really what I want to talk about today, and that's laminate. You can pick up this black laminate at Home Depot. It's about $45 for an 8x4 sheet, but it's completely worth it. And if you think about it, by the time you pick up paint and brushes and pans and primer and everything else, you're going to find out that this is a lot cheaper and a lot less labor inten uh, intensive than painting over and over and sanding, etc. Because with this stuff, you don't even have to sand. You don't even... You have to putty it up and sand it all smooth. This is just really rough. I puttied in the holes from the screws and I'm going to put this laminate on top and then we're going to route it. Okay. Now, when I first made cabs, I tried painting them. I'm not saying it's the wrong thing to do. I tried it years ago and it didn't work. Then I tried melamine. I had a white melamine that I didn't even know was melamine. So here you can drill your holes through the outside. Then you can put this laminate over the top of it and then route it out. The guys at Arcade Repair Tips are the best at this stuff. They did do a video, but I wanted to show a little bit more um, detail on how to do it and the pieces necessary to do it. So let's get started. Okay, now to get started on this project, you're only gonna need a couple things. One is a router. You probably already have one if you're building arcades. Uh, two is some high strength 90. So they call this spray 90, and this is gonna what's gonna glue on the laminate to the cabinet. I'll show you how to do that and then you're going to need a special trimming blade because after we glue it we're going to have to trim it so it fits perfectly to the frame of the arcade and this is just what's called a trimming cutout um, cabinet laminate uh, a bit and uh, basically this does all the work now you'll see that i cut out a piece of laminate already this comes in eight by four sheets and it's very hard to cut uh, because it's real flimsy and large but you want to cut out a, you know, a close to shape of the cabinet as you can. So what you actually use to cut it the best way is the router bit. Actually, you pre-cut it with your router and, and use the bit. Now, I've also used a Dremel tool and uh, just cut it that way, but that's a little difficult. You can't use a razor blade or, or really a, a saw because it just starts splitting the laminate all over. So you really have to be careful when you pre-cut uh, a shape to lay on top of your cabinet. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to spray the wood first and then spray the laminate. We'll give it a quick clean. Now you obviously want to be careful when you spray this. Don't get it all over uh, everything. Gonna 
press this on. Just give it about five, 10 minutes to dry and then we can route it. Okay, we let it dry. It's ready to be routed. We just put our bit in, we lined it up so it cuts uh, at the right level. And now we're gonna go around and trim it. Now, one more tip before we take a look at this. Uh, one thing you'll notice, you're, it's, this is very thin laminate, so you, you're not really adding <clears throat> any width to the, to the board, really. But just in case, you know, you don't center that T-molding perfectly, I like to take a magic marker, black magic marker, and just run it along the outside of that, that end there. Now, some people just paint it beforehand, but to me, just get a permanent marker, run it along the outside. Then if your T-molding isn't perfectly in the middle, you don't see it, that wood grain and you see nice, you know, a black, uh, a black permanent marker kind of paint that blends in with the laminate. So just a quick tip for you. Okay. So, Hey guys, look at that. That's just a nice, smooth, perfect finish right there. It's actually beautiful. Clean it up a little bit and it looks fantastic. It's much better than painting. I can tell you, you'll save yourself a lot of headache. Also, you can put graphics on here. Now you can put your vinyl wraps. It's nice and smooth. You don't have to worry about bubbles or anything. You can put stickers or vinyl stickers or whatever you want. You can use the wet method. This is the way to go, guys. I know it's an extra step sometimes in just putting vinyl graphics over the top of the wood, but it's well worth it. Hey, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video too if you think it's a job well done. Thanks, guys.